Welcome to the Mind Sanity Podcast. What's up, guys? My name's Azrael Eternity, and welcome to the Mind Sanity Podcast. With us today, Grave Walker. Hey, Banjo Bates. Leave me the fuck alone. And Sickcore. Hey, guys. Uh, so, it has been a semi eventful week for some of us. Um, Sigs has not been on here for several weeks, so I know he has a lot to talk about. <laughs> um, things that have been happening on the server, uh, Sigs has built a majority of the amphitheater. Oh, it's done. Oh, it's done. Yeah. Nice. Um, what else has happened? I built uh, a zombie finished. farm. <laughs> yeah, which I'm actually, that's the whole reason for me being out where I'm out right now is trying to find that darn thing. <laughs> oh, here I can show you really quick. Uh, I completely finished off the nether hub. Well, except for the roof of it. There's that. Actually, Which can I do the roof? Very go good, for it, by man. Way. Yay. Yeah, the, the nether hub looks really good. Um, oh, one thing. While we're talking about it, you can change the front place of like where your tunnel comes in. Because uh, nobody has, and I figured people would be wanting to do that. Oh, <laughs> Didn't I know just, if you guys just knew you were allowed. Picked a spot that was closest to where my yeah, yeah. thing was going to come out. So, oh, oh, I see. Yeah. To like pick a spot, uh, change the front facade of it. Yeah, that. Gotcha. Um, I figured whenever I was building it, or whenever I was first laying out the design, I made sure that there was enough there, enough room there that you could change something at least. Yeah. Just uh, like the beams between each one should stay the same unless you really want to but <laughs> words oh let's not start that shit again <laughs> uh, I, um, I know I know that I have to dig a completely different nether tunnel to get to my place for the third now. time no uh, yeah for the third time the first time well, I dug in the completely wrong direction well uh, at least now you have diamond tools with efficiency on them Yes. Yeah. I have been stockpiling of tools. <laughs> I love it. My tunnel's only like 30 blocks long. <laughs> have you been I don't even have a tunnel. <laughs> I hope I'm just so close to spawn. Well, I mean, Sigs is also, but... I'm like well, he's a little further out. Mm. I'm I like, I can see spawn. Like when I'm in my main sphere, I can see spawn. So <laughs> You can also see the, see the zombie farm that I made. <laughs> yeah, about that. Has that caused you, has caused you any problems? I don't see why it would. Okay. It, I noticed a little block lag yesterday. Oh, and um, if you hear me suddenly disappear and not come back, uh, my grandparents just got here from Oregon, gotcha. and um, they, they probably just burst in the room and said <laughs> it's time for dinner. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Speaking of that, my grandmother. Okay had to drive from Oregon to Texas with a dog and two cats. <laughs> All in the God. same car. So yeah. She's probably happy. Oh, she was exhausted. She went and took a nap, like, right away. I I have to say, travel takes a lot of energy out of me. Uh, when... My sister and my brother and I all went to New York City for vacation. We flew the entire way, and it was a nonstop flight from uh, San Francisco to New York City. Well, that's just jet lag. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was jet lag. But I mean, we got to the uh, hotel that we were staying in, and my brother and I just completely passed out, and we were out for a couple hours at least, hmm. just from how tired we were from the travel. Yeah, can't can forget about that crazy. stop at the bar after he landed. No, it didn't <laughs> stop at the bar. Hmm. Um, I mean, you My guys, right you, hand you guy, guys, I only had two drinks. I mean, you guys know me pretty well. I don't drink oh, yeah. that often. Um, <laughs> and when I do, uh, it's quite entertaining. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I told my wife, I was all, so don't expect me to uh, come out and park the car for you, because <laughs> she was all, no, not again, not again. <laughs> <laughs> she was uh, all, it's one thing if you're drinking with friends and they're all playing the same sort of drinking game you are, but you were drinking alone. I was like, I wasn't alone. Sigs was drinking. 
Was I drinking that day? <laughs> I, I thought you had said you had like wine or beer. I, yeah, no, I think I had beer. Yeah, yeah I think you had beer. That was a good response. Was I drinking that day? I can't remember. <laughs> I, I don't keep that... track of the days I drink. I mean, <laughs> it's not that I drink like I'm on this mid-shift. My favorite shift in the whole world. Sarcasm off. Um, and I don't drink on the shift because it my, my sleep schedule is jacked up enough. I don't need to help it any. So, yeah. I mean. I don't know. A little nightcap to help you put yourself to sleep. It, it doesn't work. I've oh. tried it. It it, it, it it's four hours and then I'm up because I've gotten four hours. My body's like, hey, we're good for like twelve hours, and I can't go back to sleep. Nope, don't don't. On the weekends, I'll drink. You know, I'll have a couple beers or something on the weekends or you know whatever it is I'm drinking that week. So, so well, my my wife makes uh, vanilla extract for a living. Yeah, I just get her own little private business. So there's a lot of vodka around the house. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> you use you use alcohol to make the vanilla extract, and yeah, she happens right. to use vodka. So, and I like vodka. Convenient. <laughs> yes. Match match made in heaven. <laughs> the heck! How did you get in here? Get out! 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 out. God damn! <laughs> what are you doing? I went into my boathouse, and a spider dropped on top of me. I was like, "What the heck?" <laughs> Sorry, no I need to get off the server. Probably. <laughs> it's always nice uh, having those sorts of distractions. <laughs> so, my insanity news. What what have you guys been doing this week? Mm-hmm. Um, not a Sorry. whole lot on the server. I've been doing building some of the abandoned village that I'm going to be uh, using as part of my adventure map. And trying to find schematics that are both for original designs uh, that people are making themselves and copies of uh, ones that are already made in, you know, the natural generation of villages. Mm. So that's been a pain, trying to find stuff (laughs) to incorporate everything. I actually started building a larger version of a church and about halfway through I realized that I was building it backwards. Wait, I what? The, I had the back of the, I know I had the the rear of the building facing towards the road and the front of the building. Oh. And I was just like, Yeah, well, those buildings are always they're a little <laughs> bit strange. Um but other than that, not a whole lot. I made the zombie spawner, like I said. Uh, I made a zombie spawner or a zombie XP farm in the desert by spawn. I made a zombie XP farm at my house. Um, I was gonna say, you know we already have a zombie uh, a spawner over here yeah it's it's almost directly across from where that yeah. spawner is is where my farm is but i had watched a couple of videos and uh doc m's video was where i got the inspiration for it and he's just like you don't even need a spawner this is all that you need the only downside of it is that you can only use it at night when zombies are being generated yeah um Though I suppose you could combine the two. You could put them both side by side and have water sources flowing in from both. Yeah. Um, Ours are close enough we could freaking do that. <laughs> yeah. That, oh god, I, that the villager that I had to get for that was a pain to get and to get in there. Um, I was very fortunate that I found a zombie villager that had the ability to pick up items. Because he picked up a torch <laughs> that had fallen from a creeper blowing up, and was just like, oh, "Mine!" <laughs> and I just and I just as quick as I could just boxed him in. That's <laughs> the way to do and it. I was just like, "Okay, well now I can go get the materials and to cure him, and I don't have to worry about capturing another one." So, very but good. Yeah. Honestly, the 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 farm itself works really well. Because cool, all, it, all it does is just it relies on the zombie mechanic of wanting to siege the villager, and they just keep on calling each other, and more of them will come and go after that villager, and they just keep on falling into the trap because their pathing is false. <laughs> I was gonna say because you know that that causes lag on the server, right? <laughs> just a little. Just a little. <laughs> I, I'm just, the only reason I say that is because I was working on my zombie farm. Uh, the zombie grinder that we have on that little spit of land. And I was like, why am I getting block lag? 
Yeah, so, we, I mean, we can always take it down. It was, it was just something, oh. an experiment. No, I mean, it was, it was, it was minuscule. I was just like, you know, break a block. It would break, and then like the sound would pop. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, we're getting a little lag. What the hell's going on? <laughs> so, oh, I'm sorry. I was, I wasn't. I was working on the vote house. That's right. Yeah. So, but uh, no, that's no, that's cool. It's it the design mechanics now are ridiculous. I, think, I, I well, mm-hmm. they've they've said that they're going to change. Um, that they're going to yeah. be dumbing it down a little bit, the chances of zombies spawning more zombies is going to be reduced dramatically. Because I think right, like right now, the chance of a naturally spawned zombie calling for aid and receiving aid from another zombie is somewhere around like 30, 25 to 30 percent. And then Seems like 100. No. <laughs> uh, it feel, yeah, it feels like it. I mean, try, try doing that in a super hostile map. Oh my god, I yeah, can't that's, imagine. That's what I'm doing with Inferno Mines right now. That's what I'm dealing with. Uh, but I, I think it might be as much as 50%, but I think it's 25-30%. And it reduces um, by each zombie. So if that zombie that was generated from calling for aid gets hit, he has a much smaller chance of calling for receiving aid from another zombie to be generated. I don't know. A, On the old server, we did some nasty zombie apocalypses. Oh, yeah. Oh, no doubt. But, um, they're 60, plan- 70 of those little buggers. <laughs> and all the babies. The babies. Oh, I know. The babies drive me insane. Yeah. I had a group of four baby zombies attack me uh, when I was in Inferno Mines, it was off-camera stuff. I was just derping around and running around places to gather resources. And just all of a sudden, there's like a little horde of them, of three three or four baby zombies. Oh. And I was just like, a, Mother of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what have you been up to, Grave? Um, school, work, home. <laughs> How's your job? Um, and you know what it is, never so you know. <laughs> it's still well, attached. <laughs> the the thing I've had is, um, this weekend was there was a flea market real close by, and then you know Labor Day, so yeah, that was fun. <laughs> but uh, on Magic. the server, I've just been working on the hub and been messing around uh, on some creative worlds, actually designing my actual house. <laughs> Because this stone thing I have here isn't going to last. Please, hopefully it won't. <laughs> I, You know, since I'm trying out this new new building style, um, as I, and I call it the layered look, um, hmm. because that's what it is. It's using layers, yeah. you know, and I've found that creative has helped so much. And I normally don't. I normally wing it. Um. Yeah. Uh, like King was talking in his one video, uh, I I built about probably a good third of the amphitheater in creative before I put a block down. Hmm. So it was just you know, and then and then once you kind of get, or at least I kind of get to a point where it just starts to flow. Yeah, yeah. So, <clears throat> but and I think banjo is gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and we'll mourn his loss. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a moment of silence for him. All right, moving That's on. That's enough. <laughs> on. Uh, I think I started more building stuff for creative uh, ahead of time simply because I don't want to derp when I'm on camera. I want to try to not waste time and have minimal amounts of editing to have to do. So if I know essentially what I'm building from the get-go, then it's not as much of a waste of time, I feel. Yeah, I do um, that for redstone. <laughs> yeah, I think all of us do that for redstone, except for probably King. King, who just popped on, by the way. Yeah, I just noticed he logged in Skype. Yeah. Um. But like the starter building that I made for the adventure map, uh, I can't remember what I named the episode. I think you are here. Um, yeah, that was episode cute. six. Uh, that building. I built entirely in creative. I actually had 
two or three iterations of it before I settled on that one. And I'm very pleased with how it ended up looking. I'm just waiting for a Silk Touch book so that I can get start doing <sighs> cobwebs. You ain't freaking <laughs> kidding. I had to... Somebody need, somebody's going to have to make that uh, Enderman farm eventually here. <laughs> I, okay, I was talking to Banjo earlier, and I, I for whatever reason, I got woken up at like, oh, 1.30-ish. Um, I was getting up at 2. Um, and... Um, the reason I could not go back to sleep was because my mind was ticking away on um, the spawn wall. <laughs> um, I know we haven't picked a design yet, but I'm, I've been thinking about, okay, where do we actually want to run this dang thing? Yeah. And the um, – how I want my mind to run. <laughs> and that, the Enderman Farm. Uh, I'm amazed, mm. A, nobody hasn't built it yet. Yeah. Or done anything with it, as far as I know. But I think that's almost been like by like. It almost seems like no one's done anything because it's like we're all waiting for somebody else to. Well, not necessarily that. It's just kind of like <gasps> we're waiting because it almost, to me, at this point, to do it this this early in the map, it almost feel like cheating. Yeah. I'm, so I'm trying to avoid as much as possible doing any sort of. <laughs> heavy duty farms that are going to be producing a lot. Like I haven't used the blaze farm probably since the dragon and wither fights to get enchanted armor. Um, That's literally the only time I've been over there is either to cap off like I'm at 21 or something like that, cap it off to 30 and then enchant or to do my armor. Cause there was no way I was going to wait to get it to 33 no. times or four times rather. Oh yeah. Now I've been using the, um, the the zombie farm that that Banjo originally built, um, yeah. I went and modified it uh, to use a lava softening system versus uh, the drop, just because I hated looking at that archway. Yeah, it's <laughs> not a pretty thing. No, um, so and it's and it's done, and I'm working on adding uh, uh, an enchantment system in there, and 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 I like it because it's right next to my house. Oh yeah. Versus having to go all the way over to uh, wherever the Blaze Farm is. I don't even know where it is, actually. It's a pain <laughs> to get to. We need to make a way to it. But um, the only reason I think we don't have an easy way to it is because I think King's building a double Blaze Spawner, isn't he? Yeah, yes, he is. He found one. And yeah, and he, if I remember right, he actually has the tunnel linked up to one of the tunnels on the top floor of the hub already. So. Oh, nice. Yep. So, but... <laughs> I'm tr trying to stay away from stuff like that because I'm trying to, you know, not just not make jump. the game too easy. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, and I figured the zombie farm, you know, I mean, you can get to level thirty; it takes you about thirty, forty minutes, but you can still get there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've been I, a silk touch book. Oh my god, I need one so bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, we all do. Oh, I, I know. It's... I mean, I don't. I don't need a silk touch pick. I need it for a sword. Is what I need it for. Can you actually oh. put it on a sword, though? I, th I think no. you can't. No, you can't. No, I, you need you need shears. It has to yeah. be shears. Damn. Yeah. Okay. So I need a silk touch book and an unbreaking book then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it, the shears will still only last about fifteen seconds. <laughs> yeah, not a long time. But you, I think you can actually. Uh, you can repair them. Yeah, you can repair them. So you need. I wouldn't be too expensive. No. It'd be no, and it would be well worth the time and effort to keep it repaired and then try to oh, find yeah. another silk touch book. <laughs> well, yeah. Like uh, I would I pay I would, I had. Yeah. I would pay a couple <laughs> diamond blocks just for a silk touch book. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> um well that's okay. I needed grass cuz I <laughs> silly me. I made my sheep and cow farm in the desert and then I went through and sheared my sheep and went uh crap. <laughs> They're not going to regenerate any of their stuff. So uh, I wandered over to Banjo's place, <laughs> and he actually happens to have a silk touch axe. So I borrowed it for a second and broke one grass yeah. block. <laughs> so yeah, uh, what was it? I need. I was actually trying for for or not fortune silk touch uh, a couple times. I ended up getting fortune, but I was, <laughs> I was trying for silk touch so I could actually put some real ores into my nether tunnel. 
Oh, yeah. which is yeah. very neat, by the way. Okay, how do you keep the zombie there, just out of curiosity? Because I was looking, it looks like that's a two-block wide space. It is. How are you keeping him there? Magic. Yeah, that's what you said <laughs> last time, you ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a really old trick, I remember, where apparently... For some reason, whenever you have soul sand and a too wide gap, okay, you right. can't walk through it because it, it thinks you're going up a step, but there's something you're hitting your head on something. Okay, nice. and yeah, I had a feeling it also that works it had with chests to do apparently. Oh, I thought I had something to do with soul sand. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just thought that would look neat because people were just walking by. Oh God, what? Yeah. Well, I, I figured he wasn't coming out, but I was like, how is he staying there? <laughs> um, exactly the point. Is it a regular zombie, or is it um, a zombie It's pig? a regular zombie, zombie that just kind of wandered through my portal. Okay. And for some reason, I dropped the pumpkin, and it put it on its head. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, I kept it, gave it some orange armor, made a game out of it. <laughs> Um, I had to actually not elevate, but I actually dug a ditch around my portal just so that mobs would stop wandering into it. Because <laughs> mobs would be tracking me, it would see it as transparent, it would try to walk through it to get to me, and then teleport into the nether. And I can't count yeah. how many times that I've had explosions in the nether caused by creepers that had wandered through <laughs> <laughs> and it'll be that I don't even know that they're there, and I'll go through to go to the por go to to spawn or something, and I step out of the portal and boom. Oh, yeah. It's like, well, it's a good thing um, that I had uh, <laughs> flint and steel on me. <laughs> yeah, actually, the other day I had a zom or I had a skeleton rather catch on fire from the sunlight and run into the portal. I remember <laughs> you. I remember you telling me about that. Yeah, that, I, that's, that's interesting. brilliant. Yeah, I'm wondering what exactly happened there. If it was trying for the portal, because it almost looked like it was. Well, it, or if it thought there was it shade the, somewhere. It, it saw the shade, because it's the the blocks above it yeah, well, count it's as just, shade, but it doesn't see the portal as being a portal. It sees it just as transparent. Yeah. <laughs> it's still brilliant. It was oh, fun yeah. to watch. I'm, oh, that I'm is sure. hilarious. Oh, so I guess I'm up on what the hell I've been working on. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I mean, I've got my the island started, the island citadel started. My my initial boathouse, I got my ring done. I've got one island finished, um, which is the portal main main portal island. Kind of got the house started. I dug my mine that I'm going to be building over there, and of course, what did I hit? An abandoned mine shaft on the way down. <laughs> so, which is which is nice. Um, they you find a cave spider spawner. Um, I know there's one. There's got to be one down there. I, I know <laughs> there's, there's. I've accidentally seen the the abandoned mine shaft through you know glitches, and it's yeah, yeah. freaking huge. So nice. I know there's one down there, and I can hear the little bastards. <laughs> I hate cave spider spawners, and, oh, and yeah. I'm like, I'm debating on whether or not I'll probably keep one, just for the spider eyes and string. But yeah. I, I, yeah, I hate him. I hate cave spiders with a passion. Um, <clears throat> the only reason to keep them really is, yeah, spider eyes and string. Yeah, Once that's you get it. a certain number of spider eyes, you're kind of done with that. Unless I find a spider uh, spawner and then yeah. forget it. Oh, I'll keep, better. Cave, cave spiders can kiss my little rump. <laughs> so I don't know. Cave spider farms are a lot easier. I mean, it well, it, it all depends on if you're trying to do it for XP or if you're trying to do it for uh, just the items. Yeah, I'd be doing it just just the items. I mean, I don't. I I've got that. Like I said, I modified that zombie farm to get rid of that drop portion. I'm using that um, lava softener. Hmm. You know, it just gives you the one tick of lava, which doesn't bring them down to one one punch. It's it's like a two punch. Um, and so. it, and yeah. And if they're using armor, forget it. It's, uh... But, um... So I've got that done. Oh, hold That's... on. Six. Uh, somehow Graves... Graves dropping? Gra yeah. It says, there's a problem with this call. Hold on, we'll try to get the call back. Hey... Are you back? Uh, I guess so. Okay. 
<laughs> Were you talking to yourself for a while? No, I was like, hello? Uh, why is everybody <laughs> quiet? Um, kind of spooky. No, um, apparently my internet decided to turn off for a minute. I don't I love know that. how or why, but it just did. <laughs> so, and like I said, I got the, the amphitheater's done. So it is completely and utterly finished. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So yeah, it it looks and, really awesome. Oh yeah. So now we just yeah. need to start tearing down some of the stuff that Zippy made so that we can have other things that can look awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, we also got to work on that wall too. Yeah, the yeah. wall is a big project. Yeah, like I said, that's what woke me up today. Was was well. <laughs> It did. It something woke me up, and then then ideas for the wall and everything just kept spinning around in my head, and I couldn't go back to sleep. So, but I'm trying to think, what else have I got going on? Um, let's see. Uh, that's done. The wall. Oh well. Don't forget, we also have the Mind Sanity Faithful Texture Pack we're working on. <laughs> yeah. So, um, who wants to kind of explain that? <laughs> Uh, well, basically, the sum of it is King has been getting... Uh, King started it. <laughs> yeah, King started it. Uh, <laughs> some of King's followers on YouTube have said that they don't care particularly care for the OCD pack. And I, I, I agree, but it, it's it's King. Like, if I think of King, I think of him using the OCD pack. Um, yeah. But they want something that's more closer to vanilla sort of thing. And so King and Sigs and Banjo and Grave, have you contributed anything? I don't know. Not I, yet. I'm going to okay. work on something eventually here, but I don't know um, <laughs> Have all been working on making changes to the faithful 32x32 32 32, um, texture pack, resource pack, and trying to make an official Mind Sanity resource pack um, based on faithful for all of us to use. I personally will not be using it simply because <laughs> I've used uh, vanilla for so long. I'm so used to it, and it doesn't. No, nothing that's in it really bothers me all that much. Um, the only thing that I would ever want to change is, like we had discussed, putting portraits of members as the paintings instead of the paintings themselves. Uh, I think that would be amusing. Um, <laughs> but by and large, that's about the only thing. Unless making, I made some really stupid-looking animated uh, blocks uh, out of blocks that I never use, like stone or uh, the red brick. Yeah. I never use that for anything unless I'm making, you know, a red brick chimney. Which I, I never... hate the brick. I don't <laughs> know what it is. I it, and King's right along with me in that. Um. And. I just don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the color. I don't know if it's the texture itself. I just can't can't stand it. Not at all. I just I just don't know what it is. I think it but, looks exactly like it should, pretty much. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's red bricks. That's, and that's all. The that's the scary part. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I can't. And in real life, I love brick. <laughs> I just I I never have an occasion to use it because it never seems like it fits in with anything unless you're making a red brick fireplace <laughs> or like i did for the chance you want to make a brick house but even still that's a ridiculous idea She's a brick. Yeah. <laughs> sorry it was absolutely necessary um if i contribute nothing else to the podcast that <laughs> so speaking of me randomly breaking into song i i've done that twice i think so far in my infernal minds let's play <laughs> you don't get awesome. um, the, fir the first time was uh, MC Hammers can't touch this because I was running. Okay. I was running past. No, I ran past a whole slew of mobs, um, and I was just like, okay, I need to get through here, <laughs> um, and managed to not get hit. I don't think. Um, I was like, that's right, can't touch this. It's like, oh god, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> oh well, I'll just go with them. <laughs> Yeah. Fuck it, let's do it live. <laughs> um, I can't remember what the other one was. I think, uh, oh, the 
Sweet Lemonade, the Look at My oh, Horse song. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Well, that... if Vex, Vex has that built into it. If you find a Sweet Lemonade chest, it has uh, regen potions in it. And Sweet it has a, reference, has a reference to the song uh, on two signs. Yeah. So, it's like, oh, well, see that. Oh, Mike's going it. away again. No, you're still here. No, he might be leaving. What? He was... He's he's at my base checking it out, and he just oh. froze. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah. The texture yep. pack. Yep, <laughs> there, there he went. <laughs> the, the 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 texture pack. And King started kicking around some ideas, and I was up early one ridiculously early one weekend morning, and we were chatting and BSing, and you know, like we didn't like the gravel texture in Faithful because it was too close to cobble. So we started messing around with that, and we both loathed mossy cobble. Um, <laughs> it's just it was just too green. It was just too too much of a contrast. But then you look at mossy brick, and it's a paler green. It looks significantly better. Gotcha. You know, and, and it was just like <laughs> so. Let's let's make mossy cobble look like the brick. Welcome back. Yes. No. Maybe. Sort of. Yeah. Show some back. <laughs> and then one annoying. one thing led to another you know I like prefer um, because of the, the skin on the, the head of my avatar how it's kind of 3D um, mm. I prefer <laughs> the helmets to be circlets so you can still see my head is not covered up all the time gotcha. you know? yeah, and stuff like that and then I came up with the portrait idea and then you know King you know, started messing around. Have you seen Banjo's um, hardened clay texture? Uh, I think I did. It's not bad. Hello? Hello. Right here. Oh. Okay. Something. <laughs> Maybe my internet won't die this time. Hopefully. Possibly. Uh, I doubt it, but mm-hmm. never know. Stop using a potato. <laughs> yeah. Just be glad I don't host the server for my computer. That's right? true. Yes, this. this is a good thing. If if we were doing that, we'd just have Banjo do it. <laughs> yeah. Since he hosts servers for everything else. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. A seven ping for everyone. <laughs> um, Sigs, you zero need, that reminds me, Sigs, you need to join us like sometime. We need to get all of us playing hidden. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> um, Banjo just released his first episode of uh, actually recording stuff for hidden. Oh. Uh, yesterday or this morning? Um, it was yesterday, pretty amazing. Please. Was it? <clears throat> yeah, it cut yeah, off. It I... seemed. It felt like it cut off really early, like um, where it ended. He does it that. wasn't supposed to. He, he does that a lot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, it's like some of his first videos for um, the server reset were like six and seven minutes long, and I thought it was YouTube screwing up. And then I realized, like, no, that video's seven minutes long. What the heck? Yeah. So. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well, not much we can do about it. No. But I need to get back into recording hidden whenever we play. But <laughs> right now it's it, Inferno Mines. Inferno Mines is eating all of my time. <laughs> it's eating your soul. No, not quite yet. But I'm only four wool in, so it's entirely yeah. possible. Um, Those- those f- first ones are supposed to be the easiest, man. Those, those, the last like four. That, from what I've seen, having watched Vex do it and watched Zisto do it, oh my god, that's there's and after watching them play, I won't. New, it's, want nothing it's, to do with it. I had a couple of really rough starts um, playing it, and I did. I had a really good episode one on the first run through that I started doing, and then the second run through, uh, I found out that I was going like the completely wrong way. Um, for lower mines, and mm. I just kept on dying, kept on dying, kept on dying, and I kept on losing all of my loot. So I was just like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna start over." I haven't published anything, so um, I did two more run-throughs. Uh, in the first video, both of them, I was just like, "Fuck this, I'm done. I don't care. I'm not gonna do this." I know that I said I would, but fuck it, I'm done. Uh, and then fourth run-through is the one that I'm on right now, and I've just been much more careful, much more attentive. Um, 
I've been paying attention a lot more to my surroundings, lighting stuff up a lot better, and it's gone a lot better. I'm at Intersection 2 right now. Nice. Um, trying to figure out how the hell to get all of my gear transported from Intersection 1 to Intersection 2. <laughs> um, the sad thing was, is like I did some off-camera um, looting of the abandoned dormitories where the flame venom spiders are. Mm -hmm. to get a bunch of weapons and stuff and i just finished all of that and it's like well damn now i have to move it all <laughs> <laughs> yeah because there's no easy way to get from intersection one to intersection two no it's it's a lot of running um though i guess there's a minecart path that goes from uh near intersection two to somewhere near uh skylight a where the wood farm is so i need to figure out where the hell that is and make a bridge to do it yeah. try to connect it but we'll see so far i'm i'm as much as i hated it the first couple of times that i tried playing through it I, i'm having a very good time and i'm finding that i look forward to the time that i can go and play it yeah so you look forward to death I, I've only died twice, and those both were in episode two, I think, that's going to be live. Actually, I think it might have gone live today. Yeah, it is. I remember seeing it was up. Uh, I think it went live today at noon, so about four hours ago is the time that we're recording this. I'm trying to... Uh, yeah, I did publish. Um, I'm trying to do two Inferno Mine episodes a week, and then I'm going to try to keep one Mind Sanity episode a week. Oh. Um, I'm going to try to keep that up until I finish Inferno Mines. And I don't know if I'm going to try to do anything extra in Inferno Mines, uh, or just try to st just straight beat it, or if I want to derp around a little bit and make weird, useless farms. Oh, no, not again. Really? Oh, okay, I'm back. No, you're still here. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> you're still here. No? So. Alright. Um... So, but yeah, Inferno Mines is I'm having a blast with. Um, I'm trying to figure out what one that I would want to follow this up with. If I'd want to do another uh, another run through. Oh, there went Grave. Yep. <laughs> uh, if I'd want to do another run through of a different Inferno Mine or a different uh, super hostile map. Hmm. So, uh, Grave, you've played a couple, haven't you? Is he back uh, yet? He's. He, it shows that he's back, but I don't know if he's actually here. <laughs> um, Sigs, have you played any of them? Um, I have played Spellbound Caves, which was neat, but I couldn't do it for an LP just because I, I'd, I'd watched Paul Soares do it. I watched Zisto do it. I watched Vex do it. So it was kind of like doing an LP of it was like, would have been ridiculously cheaty. <laughs> yeah. Um. I we mean Banjo just finished up um Kaizo Caverns, that's right. Kaizo Caverns. I forgot you guys were doing that. And um I you know what? Playing Kaizo Caverns was even though he went through and modified a few things, it was just too easy. And, and we were just kind of by the time we got to the end, we were just kind of like me you know, or like the okay, let's just finish this shit, and get done with it. <laughs> Hello? So you're here. I'm back. Yeah. Okay. You're on the air. <laughs> cool. You're on the air with mind sanity. <laughs> do you do you have a question caller? <laughs> <laughs> Can I leave? <laughs> uh, but no. I the, the the what we were talking about grave while you were uh, intermittent uh, uh -huh. was experiences with super hostiles. Because um, I'm trying to figure out if I would want to do another one after this one and which one to do. Obviously not waking up. <laughs> yeah, no. Because yeah. Vex no. has even said that that's probably the hardest one that he's ever made. Yeah. Um, um, personally, I say if you're going to do one, do Spellbound Caves. It is a very, very good one. Gotcha. Um, I actually played through that with Zippy, Rain, and one other guy we used to play with before the server went up. And we actually beat it in, like, week, just jumping on whenever we had free time. <laughs> did so. did uh, you guys work it on it when other people weren't around, or did you always do it as a group? 
we did some like farming stuff on our own, yes, but whenever we took on the wolves, I think only one of the wolves were taken on alone, so gotcha. Yeah. Then we blew up the map. Um Yay <laughs> There was <Always>. much rejoicing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that should be like the the end of any super hostile. There should be a button that says "blow it up." <laughs> and oh, it's just God. TNT everywhere. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like it, it teleports you to different parts of the map, and it's just like, okay, we're gonna blow this part up. <laughs> okay, we're gonna blow this part up. <laughs> Zisto did that. Oh, I'm sure. Well, Zisto he... did. Uh, he blew up an entire cavern just to build in it. Yeah, I know, and then and, Vex put it in uh, Inferno Mines. Just Inferno Mines. <laughs> the the dumb blast cavern. Yeah, yeah, pig derp. Pig derp. Um, yeah, no, I'm just uh, now you see what I've been doing. It, it, as I'm sure everybody knows, and my viewers definitely know, and I'm not quite sure how happy they are with it because I haven't had a comment in a while. Um, I went down to one episode a week. Of uh, Mind Sanity and FTB. Um, and that was just because doing two episodes a week was just way too much. Yeah. Um, so I, so I, it's, it's been nice because even though I have been releasing two episodes a week of Mind Sanity, um, I don't have to if I don't want to. It just <laughs> happens to be the way things are running right now. I have time. But I've got a new series which comes out this Friday. Friday or last Friday after when this is released, uh, I'm starting a Skyrim Let's Play. Surprise! Welcome back. Oh god, no. Oh no. god, it's back! <laughs> Thanks you guys for watching, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> no. No. Um. So, and Skyrim next to Minecraft has got to be one of my favorite games. That's good. So, <laughs> and... I'm I'm excited about it. I'll admit that the first episodes are probably going to be a little rough because well, yeah. it, it, it's I'm used to playing Skyrim and not talking. Because yeah. yeah. when I when I play video games, I normally don't talk, and I've gotten used to it with Minecraft. But with Skyrim, it, it just took me a little bit, and that and the first couple episodes is going through all that required. Yeah, it's the the BS stuff, you know. Yeah. The stuff that everybody's played ten times. <laughs> I'm I... pretty sure everybody who has even thought about the game has seen the intro probably ten times. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. And I've played... I mean, I've run six characters through it so far. <laughs> and so, trying to be... Like, if you watch Zisto play through, he had never played the game when he did the LP. So everything mm -hmm. for him was a surprise. <laughs> and for me, it's like, oh yeah, this is going to happen. Uh, I'm trying, so I'm trying to do things that I haven't done before. And do how many of them are there? Different quote, choices on quests. I'm doing all four of them. Yeah. So exactly, I'm I'm trying to do things that I haven't, I haven't done before, and and it's it's been, it's it's working out pretty good so far. I've actually encountered, done a few new things, and I'm 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 really enjoying it. I'm actually already up to, um. Episode eight, um, nice. recorded, and nice. number one just is just getting released this Friday, or you know, the Friday after this podcast, Friday before this podcast will be released. So, it's uh, assuming Eric does it on time. <laughs> this is true. Well, this, is, yeah. this is true. So this is they think, <laughs> and since I'm so far ahead, it's just that Skyrim. Because I'm trying to edit out all the loading screens and everything like that, and all the boring yeah. stuff. Because sometimes nothing happens. Huge time sink. It, it, it editing the editing is a huge time sink. Yeah. So it's uh, it's like okay. <laughs> Which is why Banjo hasn't put up an episode in a long time. <laughs> you know what? I don't even edit those things. I just kind of record thirty minutes, slap it into Vegas, render it out, upload. <laughs> Isn't um. that what you do in general, though? Well, no, sometimes I edit out things that I really don't want other right. people to hear me say, but, you know. Oh. Yeah. I don't <laughs> have that freedom here on the podcast. <laughs> Get to edit out. He gets to choose if he edit out. Edit out. <laughs> I'm not going to even think like that. Yeah, edit out his stupid. 
<laughs> I, I honestly was originally going into when Grave started to have connection issues. I was originally starting to figure, you know, oh, okay, I can just go in and, you know, remove these. But Sigs just kept on talking. I was like, well, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> but, so yeah, excited about the Skyrim. Real excited about it. I, I'm I'm looking forward to it because I've been trying to watch Banjos and he hasn't released any, so <laughs> I'll have finally have because I Is I don't really I've never I I will upload like crazy. I, I well the demand is me I guess but because um, I've I've never played it I play tried playing um what was it Morrowind, Morrowind. Uh, once and it did not go well so I kind of swore off the game because I didn't quite understand it that well. <laughs> and so it's more interesting to for me to watch other people play it uh, than attempt to play it myself. So gotcha. I'm always interested in when other people play it. I For some reason, I thought that uh, Zisto's LP of Link's of the Night Cat, I thought that was com- something completely different. I didn't realize that that was a Skyrim LP. Neither did I until like until a months ago. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, I could I have been watching this. I finally clicked on one. I was like, wow, he's been uploading these really frequently. Clicked on one. Oh, it's Skyrim! Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, that must be a really in-depth game. I've never heard of it before. Link so. <laughs> yeah, I was like, exactly. oh, that's like, his character name. I was like, oh, geez, this is going to be a really, one of those really stupid indie games, isn't it? Nope. With <laughs> Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we all play silly indie games. <laughs> No, we oh, played yeah. Minecraft. It, which was an indie game. Oh, am I going away again? No, you're nope. still here. Yeah, I am. Okay. Bye, Grave. <laughs> we'll miss you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've, I I didn't realize that, so uh, I'm very tempted to go back and watch it, but I have a hard enough time watching shows that I do want to see. Then. <laughs> and he's got 140 of them. Yeah. Uh... It's one of those things, like, I I haven't watched any Red vs. Blue in probably two seasons, just simply because the backlog of it just keeps on building up. I'm just like, do I really want to sink time into They're into still that? running that? Yeah. Yes, ten, they are. They're, they're actually a pretty good story behind it, I think. <laughs> oh, they've always de- always have. Yeah. Um, and we lost Banjo that time. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> and okay. you're a robot <laughs> What? You're a little robot Not awesome. bad. Awesome. But... <laughs> no, um, okay. But, yeah. It, it, Skyrim seems interesting. I, I wouldn't mind trying it, but I don't think that I would ever sink the money into it. Um, I have much more fun playing games that I are... that I, The games that I'm already playing. I'm loving playing, you know, Mind Sanity. I'm loving playing Inferno Mines. Um, Hidden's fun. I do want us to get, you know, more players... Uh, for hidden, get more players to play Prop Hunt and Trouble in Terrace Town. I love to start getting videos of those up, um, and you know, do more PvP maps, do an adventure map. Um, though honestly, adventure maps, I'm not entirely sure I'd want to do. I'm kind of thinking I would want to do uh, more super hostiles because they're a lot more fun. Yeah. Hmm. And you see, I I prefer I would I probably adventure maps would probably be my thing. Yeah. So uh, I I I'm a more of a puzzle guy. Than, yeah. Yeah. Than, I can understand you know, that. Stuff like that. So it's um, like. Hold on, it, banjo dropped. I'm gonna try to call him back in here. <laughs> okay. We'll see if, if you feel, I... you must. <laughs> if for nothing else than to have him sign off, <laughs> be like, okay, ready to go. Um, I don't even see the little icon that shows how long. Oh, there it is. Uh, going about fifty-six minutes on the call. So, oh, and we 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 derped around for a little bit too. So yeah, no, I know, but um, getting there. Connection not connect call failed from Ban- Banjo. So uh, unfortunately, Banjo not able to continue with us. <laughs> yeah, well, Apparently. I wonder if he finally got called down for dinner. Possible. <laughs> Well, it's, it wasn't that he hung up. It's it's the connection dropped on him, so who knows? Maybe his parents unplugged the internet. That was internet. funny. And that would have to be what it is, because, you know, Banjo, he'll brag about his internet all the time. 
I was gonna say, hasn't he got? Doesn't he have that super internet? <laughs> It was better better than ours. I tried upgrading our service the other day, and Comcast was just like, "Oh yeah, nope, you you're not eligible for that." Because <laughs> it was it was it was better internet for like five dollars more, and I was all, "Oh sweet," you know, it was like twenty five megs instead of uh, or yeah, twenty five megs instead of five for down, and I was like, "Oh sweet, for five bucks more, yeah." I was like, "No, you have to have uh, TV or." Uh, phone service already in order to get that deal. It's like, well, suck a dick. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, it's um, yeah, I'm sp- Comcast, yeah. Um. <laughs> Banjo message that I think I dropped. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you did. You think? <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> um, yeah. Our part of the other reason I dropped uh, some episodes is because the wife's we you know I originally had the deal where because uh, where I live you don't get unlimited bandwidth you know which is why I don't use you know um, download the movies the Netflix and stuff like that so we have to buy packages and, and we upgraded to a package which allowed me to upload like six videos a week you know um, and now and apparently that was during a deal <laughs> <laughs> and now the deal's over, so our bill jumped. Oh, fun. And my wife's like, ah, oh, yeah. And I'm like, no! I must upload! I have people <laughs> who want to see what I'm doing! So, but, yeah, so that, that was a compromise on our part of, you know, just, uh, that, you know, doing it that way, so. Okay. But um, the the interesting thing is is uh, real life scenario is I'm actually hunting for a new job. Hmm. I really know. Yeah. Um, just uh, and the nice thing is, is I'm not poor. No. Um, nature of the beast of working, doing what I do, uh, working in a government contract is the government contracts change, Wait. and yeah. I'm just not fond of the way the direction things are going um yeah. and if i can find something better um and i have some i just have some different avenues i can take this time around there you are hey. there you oh, so um, yeah i don't know what happened but my internet died and <laughs> we didn't think that was possible <laughs> actually my internet has been really spotty the past few days Ooh, that's not good. Yeah, it's been dropping every every so often. No dice. Um, and then apparently, Eric, you you dropped. Huh? Did have, did anybody dropped. else have issues, or was it just me? Graves has been having some issues. Graves, Graves been having, having issues, issues, but well, that's just him. But yeah, no, oh, we've God. we've been continuing on. Oh jeez. <laughs> um. So Sigs, keep on going. You're oh at other places. Yeah, and I actually have the 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 communication industry up here isn't very big, um, and I've been where I've been for thirteen years. So, mm-hmm. but I have made some new contacts, so I'm exploring potential avenues, and um, that means my uh, schedule will even out and probably get wackier all at the same time. <laughs> So, de- depending upon which, I need to talk to a few people about what openings are where, but depending upon some of them, I might just be traveling a lot. Mm. Yeah. So. Uh, I, w- I would imagine for for some places, it's probably a lot like when I was doing a lot of theater was, you know, you network a lot no matter what you're doing because everybody knows everybody in theater. You know, you could be yeah. somebody that lives in California, and you could have connections in freaking Michigan or Wisconsin or New York or you know North Carolina, because you had the same schooling as somebody else, or you knew your professor was somebody else's professor when they went to school, stuff like that. Yeah, and you just have those sorts of connections. Like I um, could get a job at three different theaters that are in town simply because of the people that I worked with when I was still in college. Because we'd have guest directors or guest technical directors 
um, come in to work on shows with us and it would just be that networking from having to work worked with them and it's like if they notice that you're doing well and they appreciate that they remember those sorts of people so yeah and this is um just um it's actually folks who whose sons play with my son soccer oh there you go then <laughs> So it's like, and they happen to mention like, oh yeah, what do you do? And I'm like, oh, I do this. Like, really? Yeah, we're 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 looking for people like that, you know. And it's like, oh okay. So yeah, I'm doing. I haven't done a resume in 13 years, so it's 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 been <laughs> interesting to say the least. Yeah, but, that always sucks having to write one of them. Yeah, I just gotta I keep it up. Dude. Yeah, yeah, and if. I stay where I'm at now. My schedule is going to get completely and utterly wacko, and it's just not something I want to deal with at all, uh, if I can at all avoid it. Um, and, and it's just the nature of the beast of what I do. You know, budget cuts with the government mean budget cuts with my job. So when they're mm-hmm. the companies just trying to just, you know keep the contract and stay in business, and I can't argue with that. But at the same time, um, if I can find an alternate means of uh, Doing what I do, then I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm kind of yeah. thankful for the job that I have. Um, I think everybody pretty much knows that I work for Costco. <clears throat> <laughs> in that, there's so many different jobs that you can do, even with minimal training, and all within the same building. And so, you, if you ever get tired of doing something, uh, you can always just switch over to do something else if there's a position available. The problem that I'm having currently is simply I cannot possibly lose a full-time position and a lot of the positions that are coming up in other departments are all just part-time things. And the reason that that is is because they're testing the waters. They want to don't want to give a full-time position to somebody that they don't want they might not end up wanting. Whereas if they give a part-time position it's not as big of a loss because they're not putting so many hours into you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. For you to do that job. Yeah, and that's and that's that's typical in the industry. Yeah. Um, well that that even happens to, you know, in, in my realm, um, you know, there's a lot of times when you'll get hired on pending a contract being received. So it's just kind of like, oh, I may or may not have a job depending upon what happens <laughs> with, you know, how this contract works out. Yeah. Next so. time on the Ass and Sig show. Yeah. <laughs> hey, grown-ups are talking. <laughs> we need to get King in here to sass you down some. <laughs> King's on my side like 95% of the time, so that's going to be a pretty pretty difficult task. <sighs> no, I don't think so. Here, here. King of the like, Here, King, Add to silence call. the youngin'. King, silence the youngin. <laughs> We's both southerners. No. Yeah, you've only been. I've been here the... for a couple of months. I and speaking consider, of, I don't speaking consider. Of southern, I do not consider Texas part of the South. Texas, why? Texas is Texas. That's about <laughs> well. That is true. Texas is Texas in multiple things, but Texas is south of the North, so I'm pretty sure that it's in the it southern half of the U.S. I don't consider it the South. The Southern Belt is like you know Alabama, I, Georgia, Louisiana. Florida. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know this until just like last year, but the South is only defined as the East Coast Southern states, like mm-hmm. southeastern, yep. and then Texas is part of like the Midwest. The Midwest, yeah. Which I don't understand at all, because it's like actually in the middle of the country. Why are you calling it the Midwest? Um, because there's so much stuff on one side of the country, and there's so little in, you know, the middle of the country. Southwest so is California, of... Nevada, uh, Arizona, New Mexico. Midwest is Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. That doesn't make Colorado, sense. Colorado, Wyoming. When I think of when I think Dakota. of West, I think of. The, the coastal states, like Oregon's, uh, I was about to say Seattle, Washington, and California. <laughs> the state um, of Seattle. Well, it might as well be. Uh, anyway. Yeah, whenever, whenever I think of western U.S., I think of those three states because they're on the coast. But it's not the western um, part of the U.S. 
you'd also have to include Ida places like Idaho, Nevada, Utah, Arizona. I mean, Arizona could be considered a Western state. It's not a Midwest. Isn't uh, Arizona actually, like it, in the middle of the fucking continent? No, it's directly next to California. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. What am I thinking of then? You're thinking of Wyoming Kansas, or New Mexico? My, no, Kansas. Kansas? How the fuck did you get Kansas and know. Arizona mis- mistaken? <laughs> wow. Are Arizona, you sure Arkansas, you're in the grade you're in? <laughs> I don't know. I get you know, I just confused. I just had I just had a brilliant thought. Banjo now lives in Texas. He's pretty tall, skinny. He's smarter than he or he says that he's really smart. Does oh, that remind no. you of somebody? No. no. Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory. Oh yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> hydrogen, helium, and <laughs> Did you know? Like that that, speak, speaking show. of that song, did you know that uh, Daniel Radcliffe, the guy that plays Harry Potter, yes, he knows movies, it by heart. He knows it don't... by heart. He uses it as a party trick. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Do you, to do me. you know there's there's a second and third verse to that song? We mean a second and a third verse. Oh no, yeah. there's a second version of that song. Uh, no, 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 made no. By Aristotle. No, it was written by the Bare Naked Ladies, and there is a second and third verse to that song. To the element song? No, oh, oh! I would thought you were doing the um, the, the the theme song oh, to the theme uh, song to Big Bang. No, yeah. no, 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 no. It's not. I'm talking the element song. Oh <laughs> yeah, yes. we're talking to Tom Lehrer, like right. old, old. Um, um, no, I I know exactly who you're talking about. So, um, I enjoy a lot of his music. It's very funny. Oh, it's freaking hilarious. Yay, tangents. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just going to say, you know, I was going to ask Banjo how he likes living in that little bitty state of his. <laughs> <laughs> you do notice that Alaska is like snow, 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 snow. Hey, look, I see a person. Snow, Lar- snow, snow. Largely uninhabitable. Yeah. No. Whereas Texas, we're actually really we got densely people packed. All over this place. I, I don't doubt that you do, but the population density of that area would be one person per, like, 30 square miles. <laughs> yeah. They it's it's so sparsely populated. They have a TV show about it. <laughs> the life I've I've seen it on on the TV in my br- the break room at work. Life below zero or something. Oh god, who knows? That's they have so many reality shows about this dang state. It's embarrassing. Well, how else is the state going to well, make money? Well, you also had Sarah Palin. That's pretty embarrassing, too. Uh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> well played. Well played. Uh, <laughs> but it, it's Let funny, me talk um, to you about abstinence while, I'm, while standing in front of my pregnant daughter. Teenage daughter. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't claim her at all. Um, it, it's... I can see the Russians from here. Uh, actually... <laughs> Um, while you cannot see them from Wasilla, you can see Siberia from Tin City, and I've actually seen Russia from Tin City. So, <sighs> is Tin City on the like the string of islands that poke out? No, no, that's that would be that would be the Aleutians, and I actually have been to the end of the American chain of the Aleutians, which is Shimia. Mm. You see, you know these things, whereas I ha- have no care in learning about Alaska. Right. Well, I mean, that's it, it, half the goddamn school kids in the U.S. think Alaska's down by Hawaii. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's a sad, sad truth. It's so sad. And, and, I mean, and some of so them go very, on to some of them go on to be Miss North Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there's this out. giant flipping island right next to Hawaii with a giant straight line. Giant straight line that's attached to another piece of continent. Exactly. And well, I was gonna say because uh, Alaska's landmass is equal to well to just a little bit over fifty two percent of the lower forty eight. Yes. So. It, I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying that it's a small state. I'm saying that it's not densely populated in the slightest. No, no that's fact, what I, I have this. I have this population map open, or this population density map open, and Alaska is just about all except for around I think Nome. Right, Nome is in the middle-ish. Right. No. 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 <laughs> Nome's on the west coast. West coast. Oh damn. Yeah, um, you're looking at Fairbanks. Okay, then I guess there. Just around there, it slightly dips up to 50 to 100 population per square mile. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, there's there's 780,000 people in the state. 380,000 live in Anchorage, where I live, and the rest of them are scattered. But you you have a bunch. I think you have 50. Nah, a couple on maybe maybe less than a hundred thousand of Fairbanks, and then you got Nome, and you get Barrow, um, and everything else is like I've been to towns that have a population of eighty. <laughs> my my dad Welcome grew up in a town of a population of eighty, and that was <laughs> in the mountains of California. So no, I think it had more than that when he lived there. Um. um but yeah, no population density in Alaska is teeny, teeny, tiny. But oh yeah, and that's but that's one of the things I love about it. You know what's you know what's the also sad that thing is, is that the biggest city that you that's in your state, Sigs, is the size of the city that I currently live in, and I live half an hour from San Francisco, where there's twice as many. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but you also live in California, which is yeah slightly different. <laughs> Yeah, I've been. To, I've been to it's, LA. I'm sorry, I've it's been... it's much more appealing to live here. Oh God, don't even talk about LA. I would never even consider moving there. I I had to drive through LA. That was not a fun time. Oh, I've been to San Francisco, and San Francisco is a little too oddball for me. It's a definitely a strange place, and I do I don't particularly care to visit it very often. Um, simply, I I hate driving in traffic. I grew up as a country boy, and I. You know, a two-lane highway was the most that I ever drove on until I was, you know, 20 years old. And then I started driving on, you know, six-lane freeways we had when I was going to college. Yeah. I, yeah. It's I most of my life actually, on two-lane roads. Actually, um, this is kind of a weird off-tangent, but while I was driving to California, uh, not California, L.A., wow, um... I found it interesting that you had to pass over uh, a really tall hill range, I guess. It wasn't quite mountains, but it was bigger than a hill. It, it's, it is technically considered a mountain range. It is called the Grapevine. It's, yeah, the Grapevine, yeah. <laughs> and I didn't, I thought, uh, I don't know, but for whatever reason, when we were going up that hill, the cats, were, which were in the back of the car, started like, screaming at us like what is going on what is going on i was like oh yeah that's right we're rising very quickly in elevation their ears are probably popping like crazy <laughs> the the grapevine is a stretch of high part of the stretch of highway that goes through a mountain range very small mountain range um near la and it has such inclement weather that oh. you could drive in on one side and have bright shining sunshine oh yeah coming it was down raining and we have had snowfall in the middle of summer come down on us in that mountain range. Really? It is such strange weather in that area, and I have no idea how people live in there. I find it really weird how you have a mountain range and there's a six-lane highway on top of it. <laughs> you talking, yeah. about, talking about the, uh, the Hollywood Hills area? No, north of that. Oh, okay. It's it's not quite to L.A. It's on the way there. It's, yeah, um, it's, it's, does the five run through it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then I've driven through there. Um, and yeah, God, that we had a torrential downpour when I was going through there. It didn't matter if you had your windshield wipers on or off; you could not see the front of the car. Yeah. Everybody no, had to pull over. It's it's and and thirty minutes later it'll be completely gone, or even ten yeah. minutes later, it'll yeah. be completely gone, dissipated yep. into nothing. <laughs> It's it's the, such a strange thing, and the sad th the crazy thing is is that when my mom was younger, she lived up in Northern California where they currently live, um, you know, working on base. She was a, a barber for the Air Force, and she used to drive every weekend down to visit her parents in Southern California in the Los Angeles area, and it's like you made that drive every week. It it just absolutely blew my mind. I wouldn't want to do that drive more than once a year. I when I was when I was in L.A. coming from Alaska, um, you know, d driving long distances is like yeah okay whatever. I, I drive two and a half hours to get a good sub sandwich. Um, <laughs> I, and I was you know in L.A. I was going to telephone switch school and. Uh, I had some friends up in San Francisco, and I'm like, "Hey, I'll 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 come up and see you." They're like, "Oh, oh, what flight are you on?" I'm like, "Flight? I'm just gonna drive." They're like, "It's five hours." I'm like, "And <laughs> so, I hit the I-5 left-hand lane, set the cruise control at 90, boom." 
<laughs> there, there, and three. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it took about four. It took about four, four and a half, you know, half hours. You could, well, I hit traffic getting into San Francisco, but oh, yeah, it's impossible not to. Yeah, there's no way in hell I could live in San Francisco. No way in hell. I would. No, 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 no. Way well, too many people for me. It's worse uh, right now because they're redoing the. Uh, Bay Bridge that goes from Oakland to San Francisco, and so all of that traffic has to get diverted to other places. So traffic everywhere is just horrific. Ugh. So glad that I don't have to commute. My commute is, you know, three miles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I just and it, well, that's part of the reason I lived in Philadelphia for the longest time, which <laughs> has a lo- which has a larger population than the state I live in now. Um, and. I, I lived in northeast Philly, right outside northeast Philly, and had to commute at one point to south Philly. And they were tearing up 95 and two of the bridges going over to Jersey. And it would take about – getting to work wasn't too, too bad. I was about an hour and a half. But getting home sometimes, four and a half hours Yeesh. to get home. And <laughs> once I experienced that, you'd have a traffic accident. And I-95 is one lane. Forget it. You're done until they clear it. You're not going anywhere. Um, I got stuck once. The guy in front of me, we'd been there for like 20 minutes, and we and we heard what was happening, and we realized we were waiting for the wrecker to try and get down there in the ambulance and everything else. He brought out a hibachi, lit it, cooked a couple hot dogs, gave me one. We were BSing. Dumped the coals on the side, poured water on them, let the hibachi cool down, put it away, and we still had another 40 minutes before we moved. <laughs> We got lunch out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but we were like, yeah, okay, you know. I mean, we, we, you know. It's, it's like, well, all these groceries are going to waste. <laughs> What's a cookout? Tailgate. So, but yeah, you know, it was ridiculous. Yeah, but, that's yeah. that's why whenever I travel, I always keep food in the car, snacks yeah. and stuff, snacks and water. <laughs> yeah. Well, you have to if you're traveling up here, especially during the winter. You keep a survival kit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I carry road flares um, mainly for starting fires because road flares will start wet wood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so, yeah, no, that's that. And that was a huge, long tangent. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we probably so. need to wrap this up. Uh, Banjo yeah. looks like seems like he had to go. Uh, cut off again, so... Oh, Jesus, poor Banjo. I had a question for him, too. Well, no, he's not... It wasn't, like, a a drop connection or anything. He had to cut his... cut. Oh, there he is. Oh. Yes, sorry about that. My my grandmother is trying to get her email, and her email is not working. Enough said. (laughs) Honestly. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) So, so, what did I miss? Did I miss the end, or...? No, we're wrapping Uh, up right now, so you had perfect timing. Um... So thanks, everybody, for listening. We kind of rambled on with a lot of tangents, but felt we had, felt like we had plenty to say. So hope everyone oh, yeah. enjoyed. And uh, we'll see you all <laughs> last <on>. week. <laughs> oh, yeah, shut up. last week was awful. <laughs> um, but well, then you hope... shouldn't have uploaded it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, I had you to... were the final barrier of quality control here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting it on my channel. <laughs> I'm putting it on the group but channel. You're the only one who has a password to that channel. Well, I've, I've offered it to Grave, but mm, nobody seems to care. I don't remember this, but okay. <laughs> I'm, no sure, I'm sure that I have, but simply when when it started. But uh, thanks everybody for listening, and hope to see you guys next week. And if you liked it, let us know down in the comments below. All two of you. <laughs> I know we're we're, we're 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 losing we're losing a viewer this week simply because Sigs is on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and I, now, and and being on the mid shift does has its advantages in the fact that I shall be able to attend at least for the next couple three weeks. Uh, so, so. Yeah. all right, thanks everybody, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Peace.